how many of those games did you win? That was kind of a silly way to start this morning. We don't always win every game or and nobody wins in every sport. But today we're going to talk about, it's Easter, and we're going to talk about the ultimate victory. Before we get there, let's go back in the story. I'm going to read from this Bible. It was a very sad day when Jesus died. The soldiers who had arrested Jesus teased him for pretending to be a king. They took his clothes and put a king's purple cloak on him. They made him a crown of vines with sharp thorns and put it on Jesus' head. The soldiers made Jesus carry a heavy wooden cross. The cross was too heavy for him. Jesus fell and skinned his knees and the cross tumbled to the ground. A man in the crowd carried the cross the rest of the way. The soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the cross. They raised Jesus' cross up on a hill between two other men. The other men were thieves, and they were being crucified too. One of the men was angry with Jesus. If you are a powerful king, can't you save yourself? Why don't you save us too? But the other thief believed in Jesus and he shouted back, Don't you know who this is? This is God's son. He hasn't done anything wrong. We're being punished for our mistakes. But Jesus shouldn't be here. The man turned to Jesus and asked, Will you take me to heaven with you? Jesus looked at the man and loved him. Jesus told him, Yes, today we will be in heaven together. After a while, the world grew very dark, as if a terrible thunderstorm was coming. It was as if, as if all of creation was crying because Jesus was about to die. Jesus was feeling all alone and prayed to see if God was still there. Of course, God never left Jesus. God was with him the whole time. Jesus looked at the crowd. He was so sad that people didn't believe that he was God's son. He asked God to forgive them for killing him. The soldiers offered him some wine, but he didn't want to drink it. He was ready to die. Finally, Jesus had fought for long enough, and he said, God, the work you gave me to do here is finished. He breathed a final, long, slow breath, and then he died. What if that was the end of the story? What if Jesus' death on a cross was the end? What would we have lost? For some of, for some of the disciples, they felt that day, and we would too. We'd lost love. Maybe that we'd lost heaven. We lost joy. That we've lost hope and forgiveness. Jesus' death on that day it became very dark. We lost, we lost, we lost. And if that were the end, then all of our, all of our sin and death would have still been here with us. But we know a different story. We know the rest of the story. We know that this is the day of the ultimate, ultimate victory. We know that Christ rose again and that Jesus defeated death and sin.
and that no longer can anything separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. We know the ultimate victory, the ultimate reason to celebrate. We won because Jesus defeated death and defeated sin. Amen and happy, happy Easter, friend. We love you.